um, you know, what's your idea of what the ideal bond bill size is? Well, if I were a, uh, first of all, let me say I'm not a budget expert relative to the state, and I have great respect for their projections and what they can afford. However, if I were in business or even as a homeowner, if I were needing to borrow a large amount of money and I knew that rates were better now, I would probably want to front, lo front load it. So what I'm really suggesting is if you're looking out over a decade and you think you might borrow money every couple of years and we're almost certainly knowing that the rates will go up, why not do twice that much or some larger number now, understanding that you don't have to borrow more overall over the course of five, six, eight, ten years just makes more sense, not to mention the need is so profound now. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 billion? You know, it's hard for me to be pinned down. I, I mean, call it a billion, but, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be glib about that. I'm not a budget person, and if 900 million is the right number or 800 million but obviously i was i was uh outspoken about that because this is the senate this is the last opportunity now in conference to add to the bond bill so i was hoping that they would be open to that idea but i don't know the exact number mm -hmm. because it's not a usc bond bill it's a state bond bill. Mm -hmm. and, and why is it uh, in the state's best interest and in state lawmakers' best interest to include uh, the $50 million medical school request in, in this bond bill this year? Well, uh, for, for two reasons. Number one, uh, to renovate or repair the current building is throwing good money after bad. It's a building we don't own, and it's a building that we are going to have to leave one way or another. So we would be spending tens of millions of dollars, if you will, to repair a landlord's building. And then we're going to have to move out and have to find new money to build a new building. So we think it makes eminent sense not to throw the good money after bad to allow us to start planning for and then ultimately building a new medical school. Now, might we have to patch a roof? or fix a few things because a new medical school is not going to be with us till after 2020 anyway. Well, of course, but at least you don't have to do that mega renovation, uh, investing state money into a landlord's uh, property. Are you confident that it will be included this year? Hopeful, hopeful. I uh, understand, and again, let me, let me be clear here, we, we will continue to support it as a as an alternative to expensive renovation and repair so it's a little different than saying for example we've never had a medical school we've never had a library we want a medical school or a library and we want bond bill money to build it that's not what we're talking about we're saying just allow us to shift the very expensive repairs and not put that money over there and let us get going with a new project i'm hopeful